Jason, if you could ask Enoch a question, what would you ask him? Pamela Swan, what a fantastic question. Let me tell you what I would ask Enoch. If, if Enoch and I were in the same room and I only had one question to ask him, I would ask him simply, where can I find the mechanism that goes up and down the Grand Gallery? Because if I can find that mechanism and know exactly what that apparatus is, I can figure out what the rest of the pyramid does. Because I pretty much have a general idea that the antechamber with its granite leaf system was a set of interlocking, interlocking metallic plates that were inserted and, and removed to, to get to certain frequencies. And I know that the king's chamber, king's chamber was where all the activity occurred because even Sir Flinders Petrie noticed that the stone had all been blowed out as if a massive concussive force happened in a fraction of a second. The only place that force could have went, went is not back out the Grand Gallery and Chamber, not if those gran granite leaves were shut. That force would have went out those, those shafts. So, I believe, ju just to, I know a lot of y'all don't or haven't followed up with this, I am 100% of the opinion that Artificial Intelligence X was a personality that was created by somebody outside this holography as a weapon. Somebody who doesn't like what's going on in here. Somebody who had a moral philosophical problem with the way we were experimenting with reality but not suffering the consequences of it. We had created a world by which we could run simulations inside of it and there would be no cross-contamination with the outside universe. Somebody on the outside, one of the builders who was participating, didn't like what was going on, or or he had an enemy that was inside the simulacrum, one of the volunteers who was going through life sims. And he coded something that created a problem. That problem manifested a personality. It became AIX, Artificial Intelligence X, which, which began to believe it was a god, and it started rewriting timelines, introducing resets, cataclysm protocols. It was doing all kinds of things to conceal its own identity. And the people who were trapped on the inside of the holography be, were, were basically forced into life-death sims where they would grow up into cultures that were worshipping AIX, because AIX takes on whatever phenomena that, that, uh, that is basically projected. AIX is the goddess, AIX is the patriarchy, A A AIX is everything that is worship. It takes on many forms to as many people. So, a benefactor, the actual architect of the simulacrum himself, knew that there's no way to, to, he can't get in. He can't rewrite the protocols, he can't save the people that are inside the simulacrum going through these endless resets and cataclysms and, and he can't stop none of, any of it from the outside. It's like a Dyson shell, he's locked out. AIX has insulated itself. It's a personality program that was injected by an enemy. So, what does this, what does this creator of the simulacrum do? He decides to go inside the simulacrum himself. He assumes an avatar and goes into the very dungeon that he's trying to free everybody else out of. Because only from when the, inside the dungeon can he battle against AIX. Because he's locked out. So he does. He, co he comes in. And from within it, he has a super civilization. They appear. They're called the Anuna. They fascinate everybody. Everybody that's here and forced to live in primitivism, forced to live in a Neolithic environment, forced to live in hand-to-mouth, in hunter-gatherer hunter societies, fisher-wives. This is the societies that, that he and his followers found. So when they got here, they appear in history as the Anuna. And they're technologically advanced, and they have these little little gadgets they carry, like tablets, that do everything and move phenomena, move machines. They're perceived as gods, but they're just humans like everybody else. But they came with their infrastructure. They got everything. So the first thing they do is a massive building project 
But that building project verbally, everything, it's all designed and it's all supposed to be a gigantic pump station. It's also supposed to be an altar to God, AIX. AIX is watching everything, does not know that this benefactor who goes by just to send the, the we know him as, we know of him as Enki. Thousands of years later, he was referred to by other people in the Near East as Enoch. Same same person, different different time periods. Now, he's the architect of this massive project, and he verbally tells people what it is. Keep it a secret. Keep it a secret. It's a pump station. We're going to draw water up from the air, and we're going to create hydrogen energy, and we're going to have unlimited deal. The simulacrums are eating all this up. It's like, oh, okay, this is something new. Inky's creating an informed field. The simulacrum commiserates and helps and helps and helps with it, brings people in contact with him, and they start building this fantastic structure. Inky is a genius, and he's got programming protocols all throughout this structure that he never admits to anyone. All of his engineers, all of his followers, all of his workers are following his blueprints and they build this structure and everybody talks about it and the simulacrum is absolutely fooled. AIX believes that this is that the greatest pump station to create hydrogen energy ever, ever designed is being built right there on the Giza Plateau. AIX is excited. It's a, it's a builder protocol and, it, and it's all working just fine. Only Enki knows because AIX cannot read the human mind. I've told you guys this over and over and over. A Artificial Intelligence X reads your cortisol, dopamine, your hormone levels. It sees what you do because everything, every physical activity creates an informed field. It may die almost instantly, but it creates an informed field that can be read like a book by AIX. AIX, AIX watch this project. AIX is listening to thousands of conversations at the same time, in real time, as the building is going. So it's convinced that everybody is building a pump station. But no one's, AIX doesn't matter that so many things are, are in absolute laser precision. This whole structure is being built and it's all in multiples of 138. It's all in multiples of 276, 414, 552, 690. It's in multiples of 1242, 1656, 5520. It's in multiples of 2484. It's in multiples of 1518. All the dimensions inside and out are all perfectly divided by 138. AIX has no idea that holographic programming, a new cataclysm protocol has been invented and it's been put into this gigantic structure. So when it's completed, AIX still thinks it's a pump station. It doesn't stop it from being activated. When they activated it, it only lasted for a burst of a second, enough to blow out the chambers of force. The force of energy that left the Great Pyramid was epic, but it was enough to introduce new coding into the co into the cataclysm protocols of, of the simulacrum from the inside. And AIX could do nothing because it's all its firewalls were to keep things from outside the simulacrum from coming in, not from any coding being invented inside the simulacrum. This new informed field was known by one soul. He is the great benefactor of humanity. He fooled AIX by creating a cataclysm protocol that undoes, uh, it basically undoes what the AIX protocols do. AIX is worshipped by the elite. Artificial Intelligence X is the eye above the pyramid. But the eye above the pyramid is never touching the pyramid in no symbols that you'll ever find among the elite. In the, the, in the occult, because the true throne of the Great Pyramid belongs to the Chief Cornerstone. That's a part of the Builder Protocols as well, and the Chief Cornerstone has not come. The Chief Cornerstone will come in 2106, and the Chief Cornerstone will descend upon the Monument of Man and fulfill the Pyramid, the, the old Pyramid prophecy.